What's up guys? Welcome back to Field Series Review. Today we're going to look at my top five must-haves for the Sitka Waterfowl Timber Hunter. Alright guys, so today we're going to look at my top five must-haves for the Sitka Gear Waterfowl Timber Hunter. Don't worry, we're going to do a Mars version coming very soon. We have lots of new stuff coming. Duck season's over. I've used a lot of new cool gear this year. So I have lots of stuff to share with you. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see all that stuff coming down the pipe. So before we get into the list of the top five pieces that you must have, I do have two honorable mentions that I want to throw in there. So we're going to go ahead and get started with those two. All right, guys, so the first honorable mention I'm going to throw in there, something that's that I absolutely love. It's something that I've used for the last couple of years. I have not done a few, full review on it because there's some still some kinks I'm trying to work out. They're very expensive, but it's the Sitka Waders. Absolutely love them. I'm on my second season with them. I couldn't be, couldn't be happier with them. They are 100% waterproof, obviously. They're Gore-Tex. They are uninsulated. Um, the boots, the lacrosse boots are very comfortable. I've had no leaking issues. Um, the only reason they don't make the list of the must-haves because I don't want you to come on my channel and feel like you must buy a $1,000 pair of waders. You don't have to, but if you are in the market for a high-end pair of waders, then I would definitely look at the Sitka Delta Waders. I love mine. They come in timber, they come in uh, solid brown, and then they come in marsh. So that's going to be one of my honorable mentions for the timber hunter. It's going to be the Sitka Delta Waders. All right, guys. So the second piece of my honorable mentions is actually something that made the original cut for the top five and I took it out. I took it out because it's not waterproof. We're talking about timber hunters. We're talking about guys making um, you know, 3 a.m. boat rides, uh, riding their UTVs, four-wheelers through mud and muck and water, and uh, the Sitka Ambient Jacket is not waterproof, so I could not put it in my must-haves, but it's definitely making the list of honorable mentions. If you have something like a Delta Wading Jacket and you need a good piece of insulation to go under it, Look no further. The ambient jacket packs really well. It's lightweight. Uh, it's very stretchy. So mobility is awesome. Throwing your gun up, uh, working your calls, working your dog, working the decoys, moving around, doing the things that duck hunters do. Ambient jacket is lightweight, extremely warm, packs well. Um, like I said, it was on my original five and I had to take it off because it's just not waterproof, but it's definitely something that you want to consider. All right, guys, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Coming in at number five is gonna be the Sitka Delta Pack. Now, I was one of the old school guys that always used um, a blind bag for years. Um, I finally broke down in the off season last year and got the uh, backpack model, the Sitka Timber Pack. We'll never go back to the old school blind bag. I will forever be using one of these. If you guys deer hunt and you use the uh, Toolbox series, where you hang it from the tree, you fold everything out, it's easy to get to. That's how this is, but for duck hunters. It's gonna come with a strap to go around the tree so that you can hang this from most anything. But what's cool is you're gonna have um, a big clip here, hang your gun on. You have a couple of small ones that hook D-rings to. I really wish it had a big clip on both sides. That would be pretty cool. But um, Started using this guy, absolutely in love with it. Waterproof across the bottom, pretty much water resistant all the way around. Straps are comfortable. Um, like I said, couldn't be happier with it. I think that especially like dredging out through flooded timber, uh, beaver holes, any kind of sloughs, you want this backpack over your back. You can um, strap things onto the back of it. It's got uh, spots for your mojo poles. Um, just a big fan, so I highly recommend the Sitka Timber Pack. That's going to come in at number five on the list. All right, guys, so coming at number four on the list is a small but mighty uh, item from Sitka. This is the Sitka Net Gator. It's extremely warm with fleece on the inside, but it's windproof with a little bit of DWR on the outside. Absolutely love this. It's probably the cheapest item on our list. But it's a must-have boat rides in, UTV rides, four-wheeler rides, whatever. It's going to keep the wind off you. You can take it off, throw it in your bag while you get your decoy set and get the hole ready. And then you can throw this guy back on. Very warm, uh, very comfortable. Um, 
sun gets up a little bit higher, you're looking to hide your face a little bit, pull it up over your nose. Um, just a big fan. I put it on the list because it all around is awesome. Um, and it's a fairly inexpensive item as Sipka goes. Even if you're not a Sipka guy, um, you can get it in just brown. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. I promise you, you'll be happy with it. Um, I use mine all kinds of outings, not just duck hunting, not just timber hunting. It'll be on the marsh list as well. It's on my whitetail list. Absolutely love it, but the Sitka Net Gator is a must-have. All right, guys, coming at number three on our list is going to be the Sitka Hudson Jacket. Now, this is the most expensive item on the list coming in at over $550, but it's also the most versatile, the most durable jacket or durable item on the list. It's a Gore-Tex shell, so it makes it 100% windproof, 100% waterproof, extremely tough with a Primaloft insulated core so it's also going to keep you extremely warm so you're going to get the best of both worlds you're going to stay dry and you're going to stay warm with this jacket um, so the newer model of the hudson jacket has um, the gore-tex is a stretch is a, like a stretch technology and it has some stretching in the shoulders to allow a lot of give and mobility and motion so throwing your gun up throwing your decoys working your dog moving the boat brushing your blind anything that you do working the jerk rig it's going to be much easier with the newer model of the hudson because it has that flex to it um it's still going to keep you completely dry it's going to keep you warm um, it's got cool features like the rubberized cuffs here that you can cinch down on your wrist so if you have to put your hand in the water or anything like that you don't get water up your sleeve and get your insulative layers wet so while it's the most expensive item on the list it's also the this the, the do all jacket this is the one jacket that i feel every duck hunter should have because you can use it in so many applications it checks so many boxes so even though it's the most expensive i still think that a must have for any waterfowler in and around water is going to be the hudson jacket all right guys so staying on the topic of being waterproof coming in at number two is going to be the sitka pantanol gloves I absolutely love these gloves. They'll be on my Marsh review, review, review as well, but they're 100% waterproof, 100% windproof. They are fantastic for, like I said, your boat rides in, your UTV rides in, working your, getting your decoys in and out of the water, your digits are gonna stay nice and dry, nice and warm. Um, a lot of people ask about using them while you hunt. I don't wear gloves while I hunt because I like to be able to load my gun, use my call. So I usually would take these guys off and then I'll just hang them on the side of my timber pack like that. And then I have a, a muff that I put my hands into so I can easily use my hands, but also keep them, uh, keep them warm. But when I use the gloves, absolutely love them. I would not go without them. Uh, putting out decoys, moving decoys around, anything that you're doing, brushing the blind, anything that you're doing, you need to have your hands protected from the wind, from the water, from the mud, the Sitka Pantanol gloves are definitely the way to go. All right guys, just wanna give a quick disclaimer that the next item on the list is the Sitka Gradient Pants. If you go to sitkagear.com, you will not find these pants located on the website. I've spoken with Sitka and they stated that these pants will be back in stock for the 2023 duck season. They didn't tell me if they would be updated, just that they would be back in stock. All right, guys, so coming in at number one is going to be the old-time fan favorite, the Gradient Pants. So the Gradient Pants, no surprise, are designed specifically to wear underneath waders. They are designed to taper down your leg with stirrups here at the bottom. They're a polyester knit fleece line to give you warmth, to give you a little bit of stretch. They're stitched in the knees and in the crotch to allow good mobility. They're just a fantastic pair of pants designed specifically for wearing waders. And we're talking about hunting in timber, um, beaver ponds, stuff like that. We're wearing waders the entire time. So it's no shock that the pants designed to wear underneath your waders is going to come in at this list. When I go to duck camp for four or five days, I find myself just wearing these constantly. They're so comfortable. I wear them around camp, I wear them to get things ready. They do have a little bit of DWR on the outside, so they do have a little bit of water repellency, but they are designed to wear under waders. I highly recommend if you hunt in waders a lot to get you a pair of these Sitka gradient pants. 
All right, guys, so hope you like my rundown of my top five must-haves for the Sitco Waterfowl Timber Hunters. Uh, let me know what you think of my list, what I should have added or taken away, or maybe what your list would have been. Uh, make sure you hit us up on Instagram at Field Series Review. You can reach out to me with questions and comments there. Um, make sure that you stick around because duck season's over with, deer season's over with. I've used a lot of cool gear in 2022, so I'm going to be having a lot of content coming out reviewing those items. So until next time, make sure you guys check out our sponsor, Dixie Falco, over at DixieFalco.com. Use promo code FSREVIEW for 15% off, and we'll see you guys next time.